I'm bad at lying. I'm the worst liar in the world. And when I thought I was in for a week, six weeks later, I'm still lying to her. It was all eyes on Dragonfly up there on the stage. But before we bug them for answers, here's how they winged their way to stardom. Come on out here, Dragonfly! Sophie Monk, you are the dragonfly. Oh my God, this is so exciting for everyone in Australia, if not the world. Sophie Monk has made it come back to the stage. Yeah. How do you feel? A dragonfly. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I lied to my best friend. That was the hardest <laughs> bit. I am so sorry. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. Oh, do you know how hard that was for me? Oh, you, you said on the show that, you know, you felt a bit, you got a bit burnt by the industry. Do you want to just elaborate? I think I was very young. Like, you got to remember when I got it, like you, you were young. How I was old were you when you? 18, 19 when I hit the TV. So I was a teenager yeah. and I was a very young teenager. I wasn't a grown up, really. I thought everyone wanted the best for you. And then I just went, I'm going to go overseas and try something else because I wasn't an academic, clearly. Um, I tried acting after that and went, I'm not going to do music again. Ever. You kept the secret from Jackie. How else did you find ways to keep the secret from people? I'm bad at lying. I'm the worst liar in the world. And when I thought I was in for a week, six weeks later, I'm still lying to her. So I just had to pretend that I just was not interested in what she was doing, which I felt so bad about. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, look. Anyway, and I was like, oh, God, I'm the worst friend ever. She was sitting right there yeah. on the phone. Yeah. Where were you around here taking the phone call? I sprinted back, took my outfit off and just went, hey. Oh, <laughs> my God. Wow. I mean, well, she's right now, by the way. She's calling right call. now. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, she, sorry, Jackie, you can't have the exclusive. You'll have to wait till the morning when you do the radio show. <laughs> hey, hey, so what was your favourite clue? Oh, I've got to say the Iraq one. Um, I performed for the troops in Iraq and I came back and the headline on the Telegraph was like the troops don't have it hard enough, so he Monk sings for them. And I was like, <laughs> like people, it was so amazing. I'd say one of the best things I did in my career was performing for the troops. It was so fun. Mr. Although, Mr. I did yeah. also blow dry my hair one day and uh, knocked out all their electricity. Who's been messaging you, like, that you hadn't told? Like, who, I can't believe you've done this. There's a few people that write, I know your knees. You knock your knees. And I went, what do you mean? They said, what? you got knocked. I went, what? Anyway, I looked down and I went, I do have knock knees. So a lot of people picked my mannerisms, like um, going, I know those legs anywhere. If you could sum up your experience at the Mars Singer in three words, what would it be? I'm not good at like um, numbers, but I'd say best reality show I've ever done. One of the best uh, shows I've ever done. The best fun. Um, you got to be yourself, but also not be yourself because you got to be a weird character. Also, everyone was so kind. The judges aren't judging. You know, they're, they're not going, you should have done this. You know, it's just for me, <clears throat> it's the most positive reality show you could do. There's no manipulation behind it. There's no need to, because you're already vulnerable. You just get to sing and the judges are supportive. It's a, it's a guessing game with talent, which is the best thing you can do. Oh, honestly, I'd say the best reality show and most positive I've ever done. Would you recommend it to your friends? I would if they could sing, because it's live. <laughs> <We're not. laughs> Sophie Monk, the dragonfly. I'm so sad to see you leaving the show, but I was so Good. happy to see you sing yeah. after all these years. 17 years, can you, can we just, can we have a maybe for a comeback? Just at least a maybe? I'm working on a song for me. I'm not sure the audience want it though. Um, but I miss singing and it's brought, you know, this show has definitely brought it back for me, the love of singing. Exactly.